Meridian Healthcare is synonymous with defining good health for anyone and everyone, physically, emotionally, and mentally. For 50 years, this organization has evolved to provide help to the people who need it the most. Larry Moliterno has spent almost two decades dedicated to the mission. Larry, how long have you been doing this? 18 years. 18 years, yes. and it's changed so much. Uh, the health industry has changed dramatically. Uh, I think that no longer are people able to work in silos. Uh, we have to address people's behavioral health and their physical health at the same time. And I think we're doing that very well here, and I think that's going to be the future of healthcare. The future of healthcare also means defining what providing help means. After all, we all know that disease and setbacks come at a cost to not just the patient. Enter the Meridian Healthcare Foundation. What we realized is this. Whether you are somebody who struggles with a physical health issue or an emotional health issue or an addiction, uh, it doesn't only affect you, it affects your family. And so we have to look at these uh, ways to serve those folks and treat those folks over the long term. And that includes not only treating the illness that they have, but also trying to understand how that illness is going to affect the family. If you think about this, somebody who has cancer or diabetes or uh, multiple sclerosis, that affects the entire family. If you have a family member, a parent with Alzheimer or ALS, you know how that affects the family. And so what we try to do is say, yes, we're going to treat the patient, uh, whether it's an addiction or a physical health issue, but we're also going to say, how do we support the family so that they can support the patient? The Meridian Healthcare team used a bit of creativity to raise funds for this foundation. The DECA Art Auction features artists from all over the country giving people the chance to bid on some incredibly famous works for the sake of hope. When we talk to patients who come in our door and we say, what do you need most when you walk in our door? What do you need most when you call our building? And the one word kept coming up and that word was hope. And I realized at that point, hope always felt like a frivolous word to me. But when I heard these uh, patients talk to me about hope, I realized it's the kind of thing that you can only get from another person. Uh, another person who looks you in the eyes and says it's going to be okay. Gives you a reason to get up the next day and work even harder for your sobriety or for your, your health. And so we wanted to talk about that word hope. And when we reached out to a lot of these artists all across the country, they really loved the fact that we were looking at that word hope and what it means for people. And so all of the art that's being auctioned has that theme of hope in mind. The DECA auction is online and then the big event will be held on October 27th in downtown Youngstown at the Double Tree by Hilton. But donations can be made at any time to help support a foundation that is focused on the foundations of families in need. What we're trying to do is to say we need money to do those extra things to support families, to support children uh, who are struggling with their parents' illness or their parents' mental health issues. And because there's a lot of things that we can do through traditional payer sources, through insurances and those kind of things, it doesn't pay for those things. It doesn't pay for the support that that patient needs above and beyond the support that the insurance companies can give them for their physical needs.